Dr. Michael Jensen is one of the newest scientists at Seattle Children's Research Institute. He is known for innovative lab research on treating cancer by using the body's own immune system. He's developing techniques to re-engineer T cells so they can find and destroy cancer cells. My laboratory is really focused on harnessing the power of the immune system part of our body that naturally protects us every day from the common cold to fight cancer. Um, if we can be successful in doing that, what it means is that being cured of cancer may have no worse side effects than feeling like you have a cold for a couple days. That would be a radical change from our most commonly used tools to cure cancer, surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. Medical research doesn't only happen in a lab. It truly is a team effort between scientists, clinical physicians, patients and their families, fundraisers. Every piece is important. And it's when they all work together that true progress is made. A little girl named Zoe is a prime example of what can happen when that teamwork really works. Ready? Few things are more precious than a little one's birthday party, full of fun, family, and food. This is the special cupcake that Jacob, her brother, decorated for her. We put three candles on since she is three years old. This party is extra sweet. It's a celebration that Zoe Earlywine made it to her third birthday. Okay, come on, guys, everybody over here on this side. Girl and is cancer free. It's uh, an amazing milestone for someone with her diagnosis. When Zoe was about six months old, her right arm and right leg went limp. Her parents rushed her to the emergency department at Seattle Children's, where they ordered an MRI. And the ER physician teared up. And she said she has a really large tumor in her brain and it has to come out. And I just thought, what? The tumor had taken over almost a third of Zoe's brain. It was an atypical teratoid rhabdoid tumor, an aggressive cancer, just as ugly and nasty as its name. You know, I really, th I thought, if, I wonder if I just set her down and start running as fast as I can, if I can run fast enough that the sound of those words won't reach my ears. But um, that's not what I did, of course. I just held her and... Uh, just remember feeling so confused. I just, it had never occurred to me before that a baby could have a tumor in her brain. That just seemed ridiculous. Oh my. Dr. Jim Olson of Seattle Children's has made discovering more about pediatric brain tumors his life's work. Because of research here at the Olson Lab at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center and in labs like it around the world, doctors had a game plan for treating Zoe's rare cancer. First, surgery to remove the mass. The early wines agreed to donate tissue from Zoe's tumor to Olson's lab to be used in one of a handful of research projects underway on pediatric brain tumors, another potential clue in solving brain cancer's many mysteries. In pediatrics, we have a very beautiful and long history of doing this kind of work. And in the process, we've changed the cure rate for kids with malignant cancer from less than 10% to over 76% uh, in the course of my lifetime. So the value of getting research tissue from patients so that we can learn specifically about that kind of cancer is huge and it makes a huge impact on what we bring into clinical trials and how we treat our patients. Although she once wanted to run away from the news of cancer in her baby girl, now Meta Earlywine runs toward a cure for all children. I'm really pleased to be a part of the rally team because they're raising money for research, at, um, specifically cancer research that's being done at the hospital. And it, of course, really means a lot to me. I think research made a big difference for my daughter. They knew what to do. She had a really aggressive kind of cancer um, that didn't have really great survival rates a couple of years ago, but she's still here. She's doing great. And this is my privilege to give back now. Medical research is a team effort. Families and fundraisers scientists and clinical doctors. From all sides, it's personal. The experiences with these kids are the richest experiences in my life. You know, we have an opportunity when you have a child with brain cancer to see that same patient sometimes every week, sometimes for years in a row. Uh, sometimes you're in the hospital while they're getting chemotherapy and you're at their bedside while they're not feeling so good. 
Uh, you get to know how to distract them through stories. You get to know about their pets. You get to know about their grandparents. Uh, you really become part of their family. Bye-bye. Zoe is dealing with some hearing loss and other side effects of chemotherapy and proton radiation. She's being closely monitored in hopes the tumor never comes back. Meta believes her daughter is alive today because of tireless day-in, day-out research. And I think there are some really promising um, lines of research on the horizon that they are trying to get ready for use in humans. and. Um, I'm, I'm ready for that day when kids don't have to suffer so much. Perseverance pays off, and so does supporting and inspiring each other along the way. Zoe, thank you, honey. You did the biggest, longest marathon of all, and I love you. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for being here. Well, Zoe's one of my heroes. She's one of the kids who donated tissue for research. When my lab gets tissue, we don't know which patient it's coming from, so I can't tell you exactly which studies her, her tissue has fueled. But what I can tell you is that she and the hundreds of other children who have donated tissue to the laboratory have resulted in these clinical trials that might now double the survival rate for kids with brain cancer. Uh, that, that's a hero in my mind. Happy birthday, dear Zoe. Because of all the heroes, Zoe, her family, the teams of clinical physicians and lab researchers, many more children may celebrate birthdays too. Well, Zoe's team continues to monitor her closely and give her the best, most up-to-date care. We would like to sincerely thank all the researchers for letting us into their labs and families for letting us into their lives so we could share stories from Seattle Children's Research Institute. And thank you for joining us. Good night.